hello there everyone. So today I'm going to be doing an Ask Joey because it feels like it's been 20 billion trillion fifafo billion years since I've done one. So without further ado, let's just get on to the questions and let's let you learn something about me. First question is when was your first date? It's kind of embarrassing, but you know what? I'm not embarrassed. It wasn't until I was 20 years old. So, uh, I was a late bloomer, you could say. Oh, oh shoot. Uh, but my whole thought on that is, you know, just when it feels comfortable, um, do it, I guess. Oh, that sounds like I'm talking about, like, do it, do it. I'm just talking about date. First step is date, and then you can do it, do it. Okay, this is getting a little off track. Basically, um, yeah, I didn't really have my first official date till I was 20, and that's just because I just didn't find anyone to go on our date with. I don't know what the reason was. It, I'm Moving on. Ooh, this is a good one. So what do you do when you can't sleep at night? Okay, so I suffered through so much like insomnia growing up and just the stress of having to wake up at a certain time the next morning. Your brain, like immediately when you get into bed is just like constantly thinking about all these things. Um, so what I do is I like to, rather than stress out and like get my mind going, I will watch TV or put like Netflix on and I know like you might want to watch the show but put something boring on so like you can your mind can be focused on that rather than what's on your actual mind and then you can fall asleep. Next question is have you ever been to a haunted house or seen a ghost? Uh, no I've never seen a ghost but I feel like I did live in a haunted house when I was younger growing up from the ages of like seven to like maybe third fourteen um yeah I felt like I lived in a haunted house because it was a really old Victorian style house and there was creaky floors and I became possessed by the devil at one point like I was levitating off the ground it just got weird um so yeah haunted houses creepy ooh would you ever release an album of original songs uh, yeah, I've actually always wanted to do that. I think it would be really cool um, to write about songs that had to do with like experiences that I went through or certain topics. Um, yeah, I think it would be really awesome to make an original album, but I've been so focused on Storyteller, so it would come after that, maybe next year or something, so hmm, keep your ears peeled for that one. <laughs> what was your first pet and what happened to it? Oh gosh, rest in peace, Petrie. Um, so I had a cat named Petrie, and it wasn't even my cat, um, it was my sister's, and that cat was a psychotic, psychopathic freakazoid Zilla. It scratched the crap out of me all the freaking time, and we had to get rid of it. Although, I think the reason why it scratched me is because I used to like pull its tail and like squeeze it. So, yeah, sorry about that, Petrie. You probably got put down for me. <laughs> just kidding, we didn't put it down, we just got rid of it. Oops! Well, I was like five years old or something, so whatever. I thought you were going to read your Eat Me video, or is that for a future video? Okay, so we shot the Eat Me video um, remake of it, and it turned into like a total fail. Uh, basically, I got too drenched in chocolate syrup that my whole face became chocolate syrup and it just, it didn't look good. Um, so I just decided to re-upload the first one because like I didn't want to upload something that was worse. So uh, I was happy with the first one so I'm, I just decided to re-upload that. Ooh, what was my favorite part about high school? Okay, so I uh, probably just, oh shit, Zeus, what did I like about high school? I liked the whole like your friends are there and that but um I, ugh, this is difficult um high school is a great place children you love it there don't you i really enjoyed like the art classes like drawing and painting or graphic design and definitely def okay this is easy i really enjoyed the um the acting program like doing plays and musicals and that that's definitely like my favorite part like auditioning for a play and then you go um, the next morning to see if you got casted and you're a senior like Joey and you didn't even get cast in the frickin' school musical? Ha! How dare you? You're gonna disrespectful. What did Anya come from? 
Ooh, Anya, the history of Anya. It all originated from my gaming channel. If you guys aren't aware, I play video juegos on a gaming channel. And I don't know, I just added Anya to something, and since then I just felt like Anya needed to be with everything. And it fits with everything except for Tanya or Hannah. Anything that ends in a H doesn't really work. Mm. Oh my gosh, what is my fur furring favorite? Ugh. Anime. My current favorite anime is either Sword Art Online or Attack on Tani. Both amazing animes. Highly recommend that you check it out. Them out. Both amazing. They're subtitles though, so that's the only fun part. Have you ever walked in on your parents having sex? Yep. What's the best prank you ever pulled? Oh my gosh, that's a story in its own. I don't know if I ever told it, but basically I... Uh, um, I pranked my sister and a bunch of her friends when I was probably in like sixth grade. I dressed up like a homeless man while she was having a bonfire party and I collapsed on the road um, in front of them all and they all ran over like trying to help me and then I was dying laughing. So, yeah, so funny. <laughs> Have you ever felt surprised on how your YouTube channel has grown? Holy crap. Yeah, it's so freaking crazy because I still feel the same Joey like when I had like a couple thousand subscribers So it's just weird to like see the numbers and it doesn't really register in my head uh, But sometimes it does and just thinking back to like in college when I created my Joey Graceffa channel like holy crap like I was just a lonely boy in college and it ended up being like the greatest thing ever. So, um, like I always say, everything happens for a reason. Can I play any musical instruments? Uh, no. I wish I could because in like middle school and elementary school, and I, I played, tried playing the instruments there, and literally I'd just be looking at the person next to me, like um, playing the clarinet. I'd be like. Oh, yeah, 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 and whenever I had to do like a solo part, I'd just be like, I don't even, I don't even remember what my excuse is, I'd just be like, <laughs> boop, 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 and get it all wrong. Alright, last question is, what's the strangest thing you believe in now or as a kid? The strangest thing I believe in as a kid, oh, there's so many and I should probably make a video on it, but I think, I used to think that there was people underground at like, the stoplights that would control like green, yellow, or red. So I thought like you had to be in their like good graces for them to give you a green light. Um, but then I found out that it was like machine operated and computer. It wasn't like a person being like, oh, green, oh, hey, Sally, you can go. See you later, girl. No, it was a machine doing that. Um, so yeah. Alright, that is it for my Ask Joey video. Um, if you guys want to participate next time, you gotta follow me on Twitter. That's what you, that's what you gotta do. You gotta follow me on Twitter. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see y'all tomorrow. May the odds be ever in your favor. Oh, my bird. Goodbye.